Hey everybody, John Wagnon here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about F5 bot defense and how it can protect Salesforce Commerce Cloud storefronts. All right, so a lot of companies are using Salesforce Commerce Cloud to, you know, to create their online storefronts and sell all of their goods and services and all that, which is awesome. Um, and you have customers, I'm just gonna kind of draw this out here really quick. So you have customers who are accessing your storefront. So these customers are coming down and I'm gonna put, you know, Salesforce Commerce Cloud storefront down here. And so these customers, of course, want to access your storefront, buy all of your products. It's a great day, right? Um, and there's a lot of different endpoints here on your storefront, like a login page or maybe a cart or maybe you forgot your password page or all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, and so while customers are doing legitimate things, trying to buy your stuff, then you have attackers and malicious actors that are also trying to um, you know, uh, attack your storefront, right? Do a lot of bad things. So you want the customer's traffic to be able to come through. You want their experience to be good, but you want the attackers to be blocked. So how does F5 Bot Defense do all that? How does it all work? All right, well, so here's how, here's kind of the flow of, of what happens. When a customer comes to your storefront and to, you know, to buy your product, then they are going to send a post request. This is an HTTP post request, and that is gonna be sent um, into the Salesforce Commerce Cloud. And then because you have F5 Bot Defense enabled, uh, then the, the F5 Bot Defense is going to inject JavaScript into that customer request and, and inject it back into the browser that the customer is using. So whether it's a, a phone or a laptop or desktop or whatever, it's gonna inject that back into the browser. And so then the subsequent, the subsequent requests that come from that customer are going to include that JavaScript in the form of headers. Um, and, then, and then F5 Bot Defense can use that data or that, that telemetry data to then make decisions on whether this is good or bad traffic. All right, so uh, like I said, the, the post request comes in and then one of the first things, uh, once the JavaScript is sent back into the browser, but one of the first things it's evaluated is, is this request destined for a protected endpoint? So I'll say uh, right here, protected, protected endpoint, it's a E, protected endpoint, right? And like I said, you can have a multitude of endpoints that are built out in your storefront um, and you may want to protect all of them, but there may be some that it's like, hey, I don't necessarily you know, care if those are protected, but there's some that you definitely want to protect, right? Uh, so is, is this request destined for a protected endpoint? If the answer is yes, then it comes on down here, and then it uh, interacts with what's, uh, what's called an F5 cartridge. So I'll put F5 cartridge right here, right? So the F5 cartridge, I uh, want to spend just a, just a quick second on what that is, right? Um, the F5 cartridge integrates directly into the Salesforce Commerce Cloud storefront. It's highly customizable from the, um, from the Commerce Cloud, the Salesforce Commerce Cloud, uh, the GUI, the, the graphical user interface. Um, and it's easy, to, it's easy to deploy. There's minimal uh, impact. And in fact, some cases there's no impact on the performance uh, from the customer perspective. Uh, some of the benefits of this is that it stops this unwanted bot traffic, this illegitimate traffic. Um, it also protects against some of these more advanced attacks like account takeovers, credential stuffing, those kinds of things. Uh, so like I said, there's, there's virtually zero effort to operate this thing. It's very low latency, there's no, uh, there's no performance impact. Uh, I will mention too that the F5 cartridge um, supports both the Site Genesis Salesforce Commerce Cloud e-commerce sites as well as the more modern storefront reference architecture sites. So, uh, so there's, there's good uh, compatibility there uh, you know, uh, by way of the F5 cartridge. All right, so again, the customer sends this post request. Let's say that it is destined for the protected endpoint. If it's not destined for the protected endpoint, then, then, uh, then, this, then that particular request would not come through all of the, all of the protection capabilities, right? But let's say that it, is, that it is, of course, and then it would interact or, or come here to the F5 cartridge. The F5 cartridge at that point is going to send an API request or an API uh, call out to um, F5 bot defense uh, cloud right out here. So I'll just put F5 bot defense. I'll put a little you know, cloud around that, right? So then, like I said, that, that telemetry data, all of the headers that were extracted, 
from the JavaScript that was sent back up to the uh, customer, um, you know, the, the device, the in-browser device, uh, then that's going to be used in this API call uh, to send out to the F5 bot defense engine out here that uses a variety of very sophisticated, um, you know, bot defense actions and, you know, decisions and, you know, there's machine learning and artificial intelligence and all kinds of good stuff out here, right? So then this is going to do what it does and then it's going to send a response back and when that response comes back, it's going to say, hey, this is good traffic or this is bad traffic. This is a good request or a bad request. So then at that point, it's just kind of a simple, you know, do you block or not? And so I'll just put this right here. And if the answer is no, we're not going to block this. And that means that it's a legitimate customer request, right? But if the answer is yes, we need to block this. So if that's a yes, then we take a variety of mitigation actions. So we mitigate this traffic. Um, and this, these mitigation actions, actions can be a variety of things. We can we just straight out block the request. Um, you can alert on these things. You can just set it to alert, but then still allow it to come through. Um, or you could redirect. There's a variety of, uh, of things. So, you know, redirect them to a different site or whatever it is, right? So, uh, so that's, the, that's the, the flow of what happens when a customer um, accesses your Salesforce Commerce Cloud storefront. And this is how F5 Bot Defense can take care of protecting the traffic by means of this cartridge that's very easy to deploy. You download it, you install it, it's, it plugs right in. Uh, zero effort to, uh, to, to run this thing. Um, so anyway, so now you have the protection of, you know, the F5 bot defense on your, on your storefront, right? But then when an attacker or this malicious traffic comes in uh, and someone's trying to take over accounts or credential stuff your storefront to try to steal credentials or whatever it is, uh, then this right here is going to block all of that traffic. So, uh, so anyway, so thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.